there. I put on a show. Um, I'm a company man, so uh, I just got to go out there and be consistent. I feel like I should be on a three fight win streak right now, so let's go out there and make it four, and then right some of these wrongs. You know, go out there, take a get get my rematches that I need to get back in the in the top fifteen where I belong. You want that Arosa rematch? Because I agree that was a very close fight that could have gone either way. Yeah, I definitely want the Rosa rematch. I want the Caceres rematch. I thought I won that fight. So, uh, yeah, those two, those two fights. And, uh, you know, if uh, I go out there and do what I'm supposed to do, then I feel like those will be some big fights in my future and uh, potentially, you know, co-main event, main event type fights. Good to meet you. <laughs> Hey, what's good, everybody? It's Amado Vargas, and I'm right here with the man, Ocho. He's fighting tomorrow. You know what it is. Another win. Let's get it, boy. Let's go. Oh, I'm getting tired, man. Gotta get you on here. Uh oh. If I can't catch it. One. There we go. Thanks. I stapled my legacy in the game, yet I'm ridiculed by those who would never walk a mile in my shoes. I never gave up. I leave with what I came for. Man, I'm going out big, trying to drop a song, turn it to some hits. If the hits don't come, I got a plan for the chips. I started fighting because I was ostracized and picked on all my life, and when I fought back, I could hold my head up. I became a man through that process of overcoming adversity. I only continued to fight to accomplish my goal of becoming a world champion. Same game, bigger stage. I've been a fighter all my life. 
I evolved into a martial artist as I grew through my trials in life. This outlet became my therapy and I used it to mask my pain. The opinions of the crowd still weighed on me. I felt like I had to do it again in the UFC. Same story, but now I fought to appease the fans. I wanted to entertain and I loved the fans. who respect our sacrifices and relate with us as individuals with a purpose.
At the end of the day, I realize it's me living with the long-term effects of these wars. been a long day man we've been uh, cutting weight pretty much <laughs> all day it seems like but we're coming down to that last uh, two pounds now so uh, he's gonna cut another pound here right now and then uh, hopefully he'll sleep that last pound off at night and then we weigh in the morning so this is uh, that last push right now he's, he's real tired dehydrated right now but you know it's all mental at this point Six, anything under 147 is ideal, and then you can go to bed. If he, if, he, if he gets under 147, we can go to bed and burn that off, because he doesn't have to wait until 9. Seven, bro. Go to sleep, bro. Go to sleep. That's gonna come off if you need it. So wet too. Look, that's what I'm saying. If you need a cut out of this is right here. I'll have this. I'll, I'll be up early in the morning. I'll have this going. If we'll check our weight again, we'll be good in the morning. Is that take a cold shower? Take a nice cold shower. I'm gonna be in your bathroom, G. So he needs one pound, right? Yep. So now he needs only one pound, but he needs to be can make weight. So he just Ooh. he's most definitely gonna sleep it off. He's gonna at least sleep off 0.5 pounds today. At Easy, least 0.5, right. easily. So at the worst, he'll have to cut 0.5 in the morning. We go straight there to weigh immediately. Right when he does, he's not waiting to rehydrate. He'll get back up to 150 in like five minutes. Shit, bro. Shit. 